All right. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I am so glad we could be here together today. We are going to hit the road running. We've got a pretty straightforward program today. 45 seconds on, 15 second recovery. All you're going to need today are your dumbbells, a water bottle, make sure that your space around you is clear of any trip hazards, and most importantly, make sure you have a smile on your face because you know what? It helps. So let's get started with our warm up. We're going to start off with three really big deep breaths to the belly, release out any tension in the body, and then we're going to get right into our warm up. Take your feet hip distance apart, relax the shoulders, maybe give the neck a little bob, a little couple of rotations in either direction. Nice job. And then let's go ahead and get that nice big breath in. So let's take a nice big bend of the knee, sweep those arms down and up, breathe in. And then exhale, release. Beautiful, breathe in and breathe out. Last one, breathe and keep your arms outstretched. Exhale, release that right arm, lateral bend, side bend, opening up the ribs, opening up the shoulder. Try to relax the shoulders. Inhale, breathe in, reach the arm tall. Exhale, breathe out, other side. Nice job, breathe in, both arms outstretched overhead, swim them behind you. Big shoulder roll all the way up and down. Reach the arms past the tailbone, open up the chest, keep the pelvis neutral, gazes forward. Beautiful. Release the arms, swim them forward, interlace the fingers, press the palms away, drop the chin, relax the shoulders, extend the back of the neck. Beautiful. Lift the chin, release the arms, march it out. All right, I want to pull those knees up right on the get-go here. We're going to use the core. I want you to make sure that when you're doing your standing work, you're trying to keep your body aligned. You've got your ears above your shoulders, shoulders above your hips, hips above your knees, knees above your ankles. You're not slouching forward. You're not slouching back. Your pelvis is neutral, so find a little tilting of the pelvis back slightly if you feel like you're arching your back and if you feel like you're tucking your belly in bring your pelvis so that it's tipping a little bit more forward as you're pulling up with your knees make sure your arms are moving kind of 90 degree angle here at your hips not crossing but rather side to side here beautiful Stay with me here for 15 more seconds. Nice and tall lift of the knees. A little bit of movement in the arms here. Beautiful. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and release those arms. Set those feet down, hip distance apart. We're going to go in for some squats. Here we go. Down and up. So I got myself a standing desk this week. And I'll tell you, it's been a lifesaver. <laughs> my back was killing me from sitting at the desk. <laughs> and Brian, my husband, was like, you got to get a standing desk. So I got one. And I found myself doing some squats this week <laughs> between meetings. <laughs> just to kind of get the body awakened. So that's all I'm looking for you to do right now is awaken the body here. Think of this more as an opportunity to oil the joints, get a little bit of movement into the joints. But I want you to focus as well, just grounding the feet, getting that sense of really connecting to the earth here. Lengthen your body. Nice, looking great, everyone. Let's do it for another 10 more seconds here. Beautiful, five four, three, two, one, and stand up tall. Feet, middle of the mat, take your right foot out, side lunge, back through center, dip it down, more dynamic in nature, lengthening the inner thigh, hips kick back, knees are behind the toes, back is long, relax the shoulders, press into that leading leg here, Feet are facing forward. Nice and long, beautiful. Good, we got eight more seconds. You got it. Keep it going for three, two, and one. Bring it up to tall, other side. Here we go. Hips are back, nice and tall. 
Whoo, nice little stretch in that inner thigh. For those of you like me who don't stretch our inner thighs enough, hopefully this feels very good. Try not to push it too far. I want you to get to that point. You could feel some sensation and that's just about right. Especially because we're not warmed up yet. I want to be very conscious of that. Nice job, eight more seconds. Ah, this is just great. All right, in three, two, and one. Bring it tall, turn the feet out, heels in, down for some squats with some arm reaches. Down and lift, down and lift, that's it. Again, we're now working a little bit more of the muscles to warm them up, quads and inner thighs and glutes. Press the heels into the floor, squeeze the inner thighs towards center, squeeze the glutes, reach the arms. Nice, keep the breath fluid. You got it. Nice. All right, 10 more seconds. We're gonna stay down here for a little pulse in about five, far, four, <laughs> three, two, one, bring it down, hearts to hands to heart or hands to hips, hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift it up, nice job. Turn that right foot out, pivot that back foot onto the ball. We're dropping down for some lunges here. Knee on top of ankle, drop it down in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Again, a little bit of dynamic, a little bit of strength, a little bit of warming up here. Want you to think about opening up that hip, keep your pelvis neutral, don't let that arch kind of bring itself into, into the body in the low back here. Stay with me for five, four, three, two, and one, back through center, pivot back through, other side, left leg, pivot that right foot, nice and tall here. Let's drop it down in five, four, three, two, one, down and up. Beautiful, you've got it. Nice. It's tall through the body, so you'll notice I'm not rounding forward. I'm also not arching through my low back. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that back foot forward, march it out. Nice job. All right, take those arms out. Strong T, arm circles, firing up those shoulders. Relax the upper body here. We need to be conscious that this part of the body is not straining. Soften your jaw, soften your throat, relax shoulder to shoulder. If you need to do this, lower the arms. Beautiful. Pull up the knees. All right, let's reverse directions in five, four, three, two, one. Reverse direction, other way. That's it, excellent work, everyone. Now, I don't know if you're feeling the heat building, I am feeling my body getting that warmth. Still got some ways to go before we might feel full on heat, but at least we're getting our body prepped and primed. All right, in five, four, we're gonna take it to a jog. Three, two, one, release the arms, take it into a jog here. All right, we got two minutes. Every 15 seconds, we're gonna change the tempo. So right now I want this to be a light jog. In about five seconds, I want you to pick it up to a butt kick. All right, in three, two, one, 15 seconds, a bit more intensity, pick up that pace. Good, 10 more seconds. Nice job, five, back to a jog. In three, two, one, slow it down. Nice job, beautiful. I love when I see you modify. That tells me that you are honoring yourself. So because I'm doing this does not mean at home you need to do it. Pick up that tempo, here we go, let's go. To me it's like such a moment of pride 
to see when other people take charge of their well-being and make decisions that work best for themselves. Three, two, one, slow it down. Beautiful, nice job. Good job. Pick it up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Beautiful. That's it. Come on, that little bit of lift here to pick up the heart rate, to pick up the heat. We got five, four, three, two, one. Jog it out. We got one more interval coming. Beautiful. You got it. Five. Last one in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's do it. Last one. Then we're going to get into our main set today. Come on. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Land those feet. Nice job. Shake it out. Shake the hands. Shake the shoulders. Woo! Hopefully, you're feeling a little bit of that heat. And also that mental preparedness, right? All right. So we are going to start off, everyone, with some alternating curtsy lunges. Curtsy lunges are great because we live in a dyna in a world where it's always front to back. This allows us to create a little bit of rotation through the pelvis and work the glutes. Now, I'm gonna grab a weight just as something to hold in my hands. You don't need weights for this. We're really focusing on the lower body, but adding on a little bit of weight makes the muscles work a little bit more on the legs, and you get a little bit of extra resistance for the upper body. So, alternating sides. We're gonna keep our body kind of centered in the middle of our mat, tall through the shoulders. We're gonna rotate back through center, rotate other side okay here we go three two one 45 watch your knees take your time these ones in particular i'm really sensitive to make sure that the form is top because so easily with these if you're not careful the knees might not be kind of anchored and you might twist through those knees. Knees don't twist, okay? I'm not sure if you've had a knee injury, you know that. All right, keep it going. So you wanna keep that knee anchored above the ankle. Beautiful. We got 10, nine, almost there. Whoo, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Nice job, everyone. All right. Next, we're going to be doing some Romanian deadlifts. We're going to be doing double legs down. However, if you want to do more of a single leg deadlift, that's within your wheelhouse of work, you're absolutely welcome to do so. We'll do half and half. Now, heavier you go on the weights, the more your hamstrings and glutes have to work. So I'm going to do a single, a double legged one. Both my legs are going to be down. If you want to do a single leg one, you'll be coming down and maybe lifting your leg, or you can lift your heel and come down and up. Midway through, I'll call it out, you could switch sides. All right, nice and tall. Three, two, one, abs pull in, back is long, squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. They are doing this lifting, not your back. Abs are pulled in, back is long, come on. That's it. Nice job. All right, if you're doing single leg, I want you to switch sides now. Nice job. Back is long, pull those shoulder blades. Do not collapse in this. I want you to be a tabletop here. Beautiful, 10, nine, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everyone. Excellent. All right. Next, we're going to move into a front raise to a lateral raise, working the shoulders. If you are dealing with upper body tension or any sort of injuries up here, and this does not feel good with weights, do it more as a dynamic movement or take the weights way down. Lower weights are good for toning. 
All right, so shoulders back, feet face forward, soft through the knees. Three, two, one, here we go. Listen to this song, it says, I'm brave. Woo, we are all brave. Just showing up this morning, getting out of bed early, making it happen is a step of bravery. Good, eight seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent work, beautiful. All right, well done. Next, we're gonna be going into a squat to a side lunge. So we're repeating a little bit of what we've done in our warm up. We're now adding it into our main set. So we're gonna go into a squat to a side lunge. Little combination, grab some weights if you want it. I'm gonna grab something to hold up my heart. Remember when I talked about keeping the back long for those side lunges, please do kick the hips back. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, down, lift, side lunge. There you go. Remember those feet face forward. There's two school of thoughts on that. It does work different muscles when you turn that foot out. I'm trying to keep my feet facing forward so I'm not pivoting back and forth the foot or moving it. Kind of stay in that same plane of motion. Good, we're almost there. That's it, looking great. 10, nine, eight, you are absolutely killing it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Well done. Beautiful. Next. We'll take about 10 seconds. Get into that other side. All right. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Beautiful. Remember, breath is life, so do not hold your breath here. Keep that breath fluid. Keep breathing. Nice job. You've got it. Really nice and steady pace here today. Keeping the body heat nice and warm. Good. Looking great. 10, almost there. Good, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo, excellent work, beautiful. All right, we've got two more efforts left before we head into our core part of class. So we're gonna do sumo squat with a wide stance bicep curl. As we're gonna come down, we're gonna curl it up. So grab your weights. Now I want a little external rotation of the wrists. So we're not directly facing forward, but rather a little bit more open. Knees are out, uh, knee, toes are out, heels are in. Three, two, one, here we go. Remember, knees are wide. Do not let those knees collapse in. Looking great. That's it, you got it. That's it, well done. Breathe please, yes. Ten. Five. Three, and rest. Nice job, everyone. Beautiful. All righty, excellent work, everyone. We're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna be doing a fly to a tricep overhead extension. You're gonna need weights that you're comfortable opening your heart with, and then kicking back to use those tries. All right. Take the weights 
I don't know if you're like me, you got the favorite all the way around you. <laughs> Make sure you have space to spread your arms, please. All right, down onto the floor. Knees bent, feet flat to the floor. Spine is neutral. So <coughs> we're gonna start here with our shoulder plates pressed down towards the floor, shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna open the palm. We're gonna come back. We're gonna kick it back and then repeat. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Use the chest, triceps. Watch that those weights don't hit your head. Keep them behind you. Nice job. Beautiful. You've got it. That's it. Excellent work. I'm proud of you. There we go. We got about 10 seconds left. Beautiful. Come on in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Beautiful. Set those weights off to the side. Shake it out. Excellent. All right. We're going to be doing a slow, slow, fast, 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 fast program today. So everything we're going to do, we're going to start off nice and steady. We're going to pick up the pace and then we're going to rinse, wash and repeat. We're going to have a little break in between each of our different exercises, but we're going to keep it pretty fluid for the time that we're here for core. We're going to get back up, start our set again. All right. Hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, feet down to the floor, knees bent, neutral spine. We're going to come up for a slow, slow, and then fast, 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 fast. So that's two slows and four fast. Hands rest behind the head, shoulders relaxed, release the shoulders away from the ears. Here we go for slow. One, two, and then one, two, three, four. Down. One, two, and then one, two, three, four. And slow. Slow, fast, 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 fast. Nice job. Slow, slow fast, 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 fast. Nice job. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. You got it. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Almost there. One, two, three, four. One more set. One, two, and one, two, three, four, and rest. Beautiful. All right, shake it out. All right, let's go ahead. Take those legs up to 90. Neutral spine, feet facing forward. Slow, slow, fast, 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 fast. Here we go. Rotations for bicycles. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. You got it. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, four. Come on, keep going. One, two, one, two, three, four. You're almost there. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's it. One, two. Now follow your rhythm. You've got it. Two, one, two, three, four. You've got it. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's it. One, two, two, three, four. Last set. One, two, one, two, three, four. And rest. Nice job. Beautiful. All right. Set the hands down to the side of your body. Maybe place the hands underneath the glutes. All right. Legs up. All right. So it's going to be one two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. 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 
Keep going. One, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Almost there. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Four and rest. Woo! Nice job, everyone. All right, we're gonna finish off with a plank. Let's flip over. Alrighty. Push up or forearm plank. Okay, here we go. Now, this one, whatever you choose for forearm or push up, either way, you're gonna be fine. If you do not wanna do the leg movements, Please just stick with the forearm up with a plank as an isometric hold, okay? Here we go. So we're gonna come up into a plank position. We're gonna do a side one, two, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. You got it, okay? Three, two, one. Let's do it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. You've got it. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. You get the rhythm. One, two, four. That's it. Last one. One, two, three, four, and rest. Set your heels, hips down to your heels. Take a breath. Whew. All right, team, that was our set. We got two more rounds. Grab some water. Let's finish this up. We're gonna be nice and fluid just like we were for the first part of this. We're gonna start off with those alternating curtsy lunges and then we're gonna take it into our Romanian deadlifts. All right, I just want to see a thumbs up, thumbs neutral, thumbs down if there's anybody that needs anything. All right, are we good? Thumbs up. Okay, good, good. All right. Let's get it done, ladies. And if you're watching this at home and you're a guy, let's get it done, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, alternating curtsy lunges, weights at the hips. Remember, we're starting in the middle of our mat. Make sure you have space around you to rotate. Now remember, when you're rotating, you're taking your hip with you, not your knee, okay? Three, two, one, alternating. Keep your gaze forward, tall through the spine. There you go. Nice, love that. These are one of those exercises that I'm telling you, if you slow it down just a little, you get so much more out of it. A, you'll make sure your form is correct. B, it's really gonna get those muscles working. Good, 15 seconds rather than rushing and then kind of missing out on form. Five, four, three, two and one rest excellent job beautiful Alrighty, righty let's get ready we're going to go into our romanian deadlifts you're doing double legs like me you're good for the 45 if you're doing single leg i'll call it out shoulders back three two one let's go All right, if you are doing single leg, get ready in five to switch sides. Three, two, one, switch sides. Make sure your core is on, please. Nice job. 10 seconds to go. Let's do it. Five, three, two, one and rest. Nice job. Excellent work. All righty. Next, we have a front raise 
to a lateral raise. Grab your weights. Soft to the knees, feet face forward, shoulders back. Three, two, one. Here we go. Front raise, lateral raise. You know my tidbit with this is when you're doing your lateral raises, focus on the underarms to really fire up the lats. So when you're pressing down, try to really engage that underarm area. Many of you have been with me in person and I've actually put my hands maybe on your back and you can really feel the lats firing up when you're more focused on where you're engaging those underarms. All right, three, two, and one, and rest. Well done. Excellent work, beautiful. All right, so quick. We're almost kind of nearing towards the latter part of the class already. We're already midway through. So we've got our squat to alternating, squat to side lunge. Grab your weights if you want it at your heart. Right side first, left side second. Three, two, one, here we go. So remember, knees behind, the toes back is long. You might think I'm a broken record, but if you're anything like me, <laughs> I need to hear instructions over and over again sometime to grasp really what needs to be done. Some of you are not like that. You hear it once, you can do it. Three, two, one, and rest. And sometimes you hear it, but it doesn't resonate, right? And then you hear it another time in another class and suddenly something resonates. I've had that a lot in my life with workouts. Three, two, one, here we go. And not even just workouts. <sighs> in any learning capacity, right? You're like, yeah, I think I get the concept. And then, oh, I get the concept. <laughs> so just block out if you've heard it and you know it. But always try to think about it from a beginner's mindset. Where can we learn each time we show up to class or show up to our lives with that beginner's mindset? Five, four, three, two, one and rest. Nice job. Sumo squats with wide bicep curls. Here we go. Feet out, heels in. Make sure they're even. Three, two, one. And if there's anything I learned in all the years of doing trainings for fitness, specifically because really the concept of a beginner's mind was truly emphasized in a lot of the modalities I learned. And I approach everything like that. And it's a pretty phenomenal place to be in because when you look at it from a beginner's mind, you learn. I'm trying to teach my teenagers that <laughs> because they know everything. <laughs> Three, two, one, and rest. <laughs> Not an easy concept to grasp there. All right, team. We're already at that pinnacle moment. We're coming down to the floor already. Let's grab our weights for our flies to triceps. Beautiful. Bring it down to the floor, make sure your spine is neutral. Again, just a reminder, what I mean by that is keep that natural curve in the low back. Don't let your low back fall down to the floor. Shoulders, arms up, stretch. Three, two, one, open your heart. Bring it together, kick it back. 
Again, take your time here. One effort might feel very different than the other. Working two separate muscle groups here, working the chest, working the triceps. Love these compounded exercises, they're great. It's like you get two for one, right? We get one exercise and we get to touch two different areas of the body. Good. Make sure your breath is just with you this whole time. You've got it, you're almost there. Stay with me, five, four, three, two, and one. You did it. Nice job, everyone. Beautiful. Woo. Alrighty. We're at the core portion of class. Remember, we got four efforts. Slow, slow, fast, 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 fast. So we're going to start off with those crunches. If you feel you need more, bring the legs up, please. All right, feet down, hands behind the head, shoulder blades flat, relax the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen the back of the neck. We start with two slows. Here we go. One, two, pick it up for four, three, uh, four. Three, two, one, and down. Slow for one. Slow for two, pick it up. Four, three, two, one. Don't let your head do the work here. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yes, come on. One, two, three, four. You've got it. Three, four. You've got to keep that count in your head. Stay with it. Five seconds left. Last one. One, two, three, four, and rest. Excellent work. Beautiful. All right. Legs up, 90 degrees. Bicycles. Slow, slow. Fast, fast. Fast, fast. Here we go. Three, two, one. Slow, slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. You've got it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Looking great. One, two, one, two, three, four. Last set. One, two, one, two, three, four, and rest. Beautiful. All right, hands at your sides. We've got our little, our small scissors, small and wide, and then fast and furious. Here we go, hands underneath the glutes. Raise the hips if you want, legs up. Here we go, three, two, one. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. You got it, one two one two three four one you got it two one two three four you got it one two one two three four almost there one two one two three four last set one two one two three four and rest Woo! nice job everyone we finished with our planks step out step out to plank jacks so if you didn't experiment with it on the first round that's okay remember they're not for everyone that's why we have options so don't worry about it if you want to give it a go give it a go if you want to leave it that's okay too all right you can do these on your forearms remember that's always an option hands underneath the shoulders, spread the hands wide. Let's get ready, bring the legs long. Start with our step outs, here we go. One, two, plank jacks. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. You got it, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Come on, we're almost there. Two, one, two, three, four. One, 
two, one, two, three, four. Last set, one, two, one, two, three, four, and rest. Woo! Excellent work, everyone. Beautiful. Hey, this is where we're at. We got one more round. We're gonna have a little bit of time at the end to stretch. So let's get this banged out so we can move on with our day and get that stretch in. So let's go ahead and get ourselves standing, grab some water. All right, everyone, you're looking absolutely great. We're almost at this end part here. We're at that last part, that last third of class. So let's do it. Let's do it with some good energy. We know what we have coming. I want strength. I want you to experiment with some weights here. I want you to make sure you stay positive in your mindset, okay? Let's go ahead and get those uh, uh, curtsy lunges done nice and strong. Alternating. When I say strong, I'm not referring to resistance, right? I mean being clear, staying focused, not letting that voice in the head take over. Three, two, one, here we go. Right, you know, we all know, oftentimes it's more about mental strength than it is about physical strength. There's a physical component, of course, I'm not gonna discount that, but we have to stay positive in the head in order for our body to flow. And this great quote that I think I said over the week was, our energy flows where our mind takes it. If our mindset's not positive, our energy's gonna not be positive. We have that choice. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. All right, back to that, those deadlifts. It's one thing I know about our crew here at Liv is, gosh, we got a really amazing group of positive people and every single one of you today, just such good energy. So stick with it, please. Three, two, one, let's do it. And I can emphasize to you, despite the fact that we are not in person, that energy is felt, I'm telling you. We all know, right? When the energy's not 100%, you can feel it from other people. And we support each other. It's just what we always do. Our community's amazing. Good job, 12 seconds, stay with me. If you haven't switched, switch now, I'm sorry. Got on my rant. <laughs> all right, six, five, four, three, two and one rest nice job beautiful all right front raises to lateral raises shoulders back arms face forward three two one let's go beautiful Breathe, please. Take that gorgeous breath into the body. Think of it as that nurturing source of energy. If you are trying to count down the seconds till this is over, take that attention away from the count. Focus on your breath instead. Bring it out and focus on breath and that'll really guide you through. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. All right, we're already at the halfway point. Woo! All right, let's do it. We got our squats to our side lunges. Let's grab our weights. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Whew. 
yesterday, my son, uh, well, several weeks ago or months ago, he was a winner. Uh, he was a state winner for DECA, which is like a business group. And he had to do a case study and had to present it. And they thought he was well enough to go off to states. Sorry, they're off at states right now. And he had to do a big presentation yesterday in front of people. And he texted me and I'm like, he's like, I'm so nervous. What was my response? One word, just breathe, just stay focused. Five, four, three, two, one. It's no different, right? We just use the breath for everything. We'll find out today if he won. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Let's do the other side. <laughs> he gets to, as a state winner, go off to Atlanta, Georgia for, I think, nationals. Now that's a whole other teaching methodology of breathing here, right? <laughs> but. We'll see. Nice job. I'm just proud that he he went and he did his best. Just like us today, just doing our best that we can, just in this moment. Can't ask for more, right? Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Beautiful work. All right. Whoo! So we've got our sumo squats with our bicep curls. We've got our flies, triceps, and then our core, and then we're done. Let's grab our weights. All right, last round of these. Toes out, heels in, palms open. All right, three, two, one, let's go. All right, don't let fatigue kick in here. Make sure your feet are nice and wide, please, so that when you bend, your legs, your ankles to knees are at that 90 degree angle. Good. Come on. Go in wide. Squeeze those inner thighs. Squeeze those glutes. Yes. Looking sharp. Woo! Nice and strong. You've got it. 15 seconds. Come on, 10, nine, yes, five, four, woo, three, and rest. Nice job. Woo. All righty, let's get those flies in. We got five more efforts. We're done for the day. All right. So we've got our flies to our tricep overhead extensions, and we got our four efforts of core. Make sure you set yourself up for success here. Core is engaged, feet are flat, arms are out. Spread the wide, the shoulders flat to the floor. Three, two, one, let's go. You got it, keep going. All right, we're there in five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everyone. Fantastic. That's it for that. All right, we have got four efforts. 180 seconds is all I'm asking for you until we wrap this up like a nice, beautiful bow on a gift, all right? Hands behind the head. Slow, slow, fast, 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 fast. I'll guide you two through twice, and then you'll count it out on your own. Three, two, one. Here we go. Slow, slow, 
fast, 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 and down. Slow, slow, fast, 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 and down. Count to yourself. All right, we have got one more round after where you're at. Two, three, four. Last round. Wherever you're at, finish it completely. And rest. Woo! All right, nice job, everyone. Legs up. Beautiful. 135 seconds left. Bicycle, slow, slow, fast, 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 fast. I'll guide you through twice. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, and one. Two, one, two, three, four, and one. And two, one, two, three, four, and one. Two. Last set. And rest. Beautiful, everyone. Excellent. All right, we have got 90 seconds left. Here we go. Legs up. Scissor, scissor. Fast scissors. I'll guide you through twice. Here we go. Legs up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Slow, slow. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One more set. And rest. Woo! Nice job. Very good. All right. Fantastic. Guess what? This is it. This is our last bit of work here. We're going to finish off with our plank step outs to our plank jack, uh, jacks to close this up. You ready? Let's do it, ladies. Let me just fix my bed head first. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, hands behind, hands underneath shoulders. Find your plank, three, two, one. Step, step, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four. You got it. Guess what? One more set. Come on. One, two, three, four, and you are done. Woo! All right, everyone. If you are not celebrating your efforts right now, I'm going to be a little bit upset with you. I hope you are telling yourself, yay me, because honestly, you guys knocked it out of the park today. Let's take it up slowly. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching, we're do a little bit of upper body stretching and our legs, and then we're gonna get on with our day. So let's bring it up. All right. Woo! All righty. Let's just shake it off a little bit here, everyone. Take the neck, let's just give it a couple of rotations, gently circulating around. Don't work through any tension points here. If you need to reduce your circle size, make it smaller. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and make that rotation 
into the other direction. That didn't make a lot of sense, but you knew what I mean. Let's reverse it. Beautiful. Nice and gentle here. You want to think of the neck as a this beautiful construction that holds our head. <laughs> what, seven pounds of it? Six, seven pounds? Come back through center. So we want to think of this as a really gentle construction and be really gentle with it as well in our movements. Dip the chin down and roll the shoulder blade slightly back. Let the arms just extend down to the sides. Beautiful. Now lift the chin, open up the throat. Beautiful. Come back through center. And then let's go ahead and dip our ear towards our shoulder. Now I want you to let your hand stay at your side here. Keep your chin lifted so it's not tucked in, but rather facing and is parallel to the floor. Come back gently through center, other side. Just notice if you have one side that feels a little different than the other, that's okay. Don't force it. All right, now come back through center, and I'd like you to turn your gaze over to the right side. Take your left hand out. Now I want you to look your gaze down. You're gonna open up and lengthen out the upper part of the traps here, the levator scapula as well. Good, relax that left shoulder. Nice, now lift the gaze without twisting it back to center and then come back through center. Turn over to the other side, take the right hand out and then turn down, nice and gentle. Now, if you're someone who's like me as well, quite tensioned up in the upper part of the body, especially now that I'm doing a lot more computer work, I've actually been doing a lot of this work during the course of my week to keep things pretty nimble. So keep this in your toolbox of things to use. All right, lift your gaze, still rotate it, and then back through center, relax the arms. Let's just do a couple of gentle neck rotations. Again, just really soft, not forcing, not creating that tension in the neck. Good. And then come back through center, beautiful. Let's roll that right shoulder back, plant our left foot down, give our right quad a little stretch. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and release that right foot. Other side. Beautiful. All right, let's come back down. Take that right foot, kickstand it, left knee bends, hips back, give the hamstrings a stretch with a nice long back. Beautiful, let's switch it up, other side. All righty, come back through center, relax, beautiful. All right, let's take our arms, sweep them up towards the sky. Take the right arm down, lateral bend. See if you can open up a little bit more here. Beautiful, switch sides, right arm up, left arm down. All right, come back through center. One last little stretch here. We're gonna just open up the chest. Take the hands back, roll the shoulder blades. Open up, nice and gentle, shoulder blades down. And release and shake it off. Let's take our nice big inhale and exhale to celebrate that work we've done. Don't discount how important it is to give yourself that praise, okay? Here we go, bend the knees, sweep the arms, take that breath, exhale to your heart center, 
and then celebrate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are amazing. From my heart to yours, thank you so much for joining me today. You will not see me for two weeks, but that doesn't mean you can't work out. There's tons of classes online. Keep your body moving. Keep your mind clear. Thank you so much, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.